I'm just looking at the photomultiplier tube here. This is the photomultiplier tube without the protection um, aluminium tube around it. This will screw onto the scintillator crystal which is here, which passes into the vacuum chamber. So I'm just going to take a quick look at the XY stage while I'm here. I don't want to open this up too many times with when I'm still a few days from being able to put it back under vacuum. Um, but having released the vacuum on the chamber, it's quite nice to have a look inside. It's a lovely piece of kit. So we've got the Y stage here. You can see that it's turning and that's raising the table. That's the X stage. So it should be moving it along uh, lengthways along the table. This is tilt. And then that's the Z axis is the worm gear, I believe. X, tilt, and Z. And I just want to show the electron gun. So here is the electron gun. That sits in the vacuum down the barrel to the sample, scintillator, photomultiplier tube. This is the whole kit for the scanning electron microscope. The rest is just electronics. And he runs a, there are some characters around it. Runs a Honda S2000 as his other little car. And I think his wife's got a Fiesta or something. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, that's real, real engineering now. Oh, oh my look goodness. At this. Gosh, we're really cr cooking on gas now, chaps. And right. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Look at that board. Um, and I think, let's just have a little. I bet it's this board here actually that we need to get into because one socket's called J71 and it's got five wires going to it and that looks as though it could be um, looks as though it could be scintillator scintillator supplies no I think it's CRT supplies that's all good news so what's and just what happened the there? This just fell out as I... Yeah, well, I think it's the top of the capacitor that fell off. Oh, I'll bet. I'll bet. Uh, is this HC8 the one we're on? Yay! Hey, wonder, wonder look at that. Wonder <laughs> that. I wondered if it might be a cap. Yeah, let me look at it. I've never seen one like this. Is the electrolyte dried then, is that? It's probably, probably. De probably depolarised and then just gone short circuit. Yeah, Bang. I see. Well, well, wash your hands before you uh, have a cookie. <laughs> Pop that in the bin, I guess. Right. I'm just trying to work out, get a circuit, a circuit ID on it. Well, I've certainly got 100, is it 100 microfarad? What, what does it say on the side? I think that's just a wire. While you're uh, testing the transistor, I'm going to fit the new capacitors. That's good. At replacing the screen, you see. And this was before let's we met. Let's oh, take that away so we don't <laughs> get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, well, we'll, we'll or I suspect its orientation is like that. Actually. I think you're probably right. And if we go to the top. Yeah, we'll make that at the top and then we'll see what, what actually happens. Yeah, if it's a little bit wonky. Well, we'll yeah, well, it might be. Is there, a, is there an adjusting screw hole for the scan? I, I, I think that should have gone through that hole. Through here. Yeah, yeah you're probably right. Once it's once the tube's mounted up, which yeah. is fine. Yeah. Okay, well That's much better. now how do we know where it's got to be on the tube? That's an interesting issue. I wonder what determines where it sits on the tube itself. Oh we've come it comes with a uh, have, you got, have you got some scan coils on it? it? Looks like it. We should change the scan coils over because they will have been set up for that. The, for this yeah. What do you think? Good thinking. Yeah. I mean, that's the way it's going to go in, simply because the high voltage connection is yeah. on the right hand side. Yeah. And those, co uh, I see the screws at the bottom on that one. Okay. Yeah. That's not a problem. Cut, you just yeah. cut those one. Yeah. All right. Good. Good. 
as well. It's been a bit recalcitrant. Okay, mate, off you come. Get going. You got it. Um, something is stopping me. Uh -huh. Okay, I'm up. I'm flush. Yep, goody goody. We're done. Oh, it's so much better. Where are the screws for this? This might have been the next. Let's put that on the table. Right, okay. Now I'll take the multiplier tube. I think that was Oh, Oh, goodness, yes. Huh? If I can stay on the. Because I'm measuring near enough and short. Yeah, that's good enough. I think. Should do the pump. Yep, this is good. So, what are we actually doing exactly? What I'm doing now, we're getting the column under the condition that it thinks it's got a good vacuum in it, so I can get the EHTs on. Because we can't get the EHTs on without there being a good vacuum in here, so as part of the safety issues. And EHT is? Extra high voltage. KVs. That's beautiful. Yeah, I see so something here. Oh no, do we need to... Well, that, that, there's something in that corner there. Well, I have some brushes that might be good for cleaning things out. I mean, um, where's the optic brush? There we go. That's a little blowy brush. Maybe we can use that for cleaning out. I don't know what that is. Oh yeah, it is something. Okay, do you want to... Um, I need a... Do you want te tweezers? There we go. What is it? Just a piece, just a piece of crud, I think. It's, it's, we can either we can either take that onto there, and then actually, there's not enough length to get that in through mm -hmm. the gap. So we're going to have to put it on there first. Okay. I think, and if we time time, I know it's not lined up, but we can we can make enough tape there tape to, to make it a fairly substantial connection. Could you just show me that? Well, that's interesting. Why well, that's. I think that'll, that'll be all right, and uh, you know, I think it's good. well. If that's not perfectly aligned, I mean, doesn't matter. Doesn't, doesn't matter. matter. In okay. fact, don't matter. If, you know, a clamp, a clamp, a wide clamp would clamp that, wouldn't it? Oh, like a like a jubilee, a jubilee clamp. clamp. A jubilee clamp. Well, we've got power there. Power there. Right. Okay. Oh. Yay! Right. Vacuum. Vacuum tube. Do we want to get cooling on this then? No, 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 What are we expecting? The emission vacuum? I expect this, this gauge to start dropping in a minute. At the moment we're pretending that the diffusion pump's turned on, but it's not actually turned on, so I'm now trying to rough out the whole column through the rotary pump. Okay. Working distance, dynamic working distance focus. Okay. Um, it should get to 100, you see. It says when vacuum level reaches 8 to 100 on the emission vacuum meter, turn the vacuum valve to the 3 position. I think we're just pulling out crap from all the pipes yeah. at the moment. Moisture, yeah. water, God knows what else there is in there. <laughs> I mean, it might be that it might require an hour like this to it could clean be. itself up. Yeah. Well, we might have coffee then. Yeah, yeah uh, time for yeah. coffee. Let it, let it sort of fizzle away to itself. Could you just explain what just happened? Oh. Well, I don't, we don't know why it's gone to a small scan. It's very strange. It's awfully bright as well. The brightness well, is right down. Yeah, I, I, I have turned the brightness right down. It's too bright. Yeah. Uh, well, that potentially... Yeah, could that potentially damage the phosphor well, eventually? It, it, if it's scanning, it won't. But if it goes off, it. So okay, why, if it sits why, on why that. Why did it suddenly go small? I don't understand that. So perhaps what we've done is we've lost half of the scan that was there. One. Oh, I see. They're different numbers. Oh, here they are. Look at. Them. Right, Bernie. That's all clear. Let me see what. Oh. 
label. Yes. Y1, Y3. Oh, oh. that's good. Yeah, I, and I think they are... That relay doesn't look very healthy, does it? It's the, the cases off it. This one here. Am I right? No, it's quite good. Okay, uh, I don't think you can... Y10. What just fell down the back there? No, it's just a clip for just it. Clip. Ah, okay. I just want Omron relays, they're quite good relays. So. Omron MH2P. So that's again something I can replace. Now, I can here's get... some drive transistors here. Yeah, and there's some more up there. There's some, some more up there, yeah. But, you know, taking them in and out usually will clean them up to a level that... Now, where does the... Is it the CRT drive coil, yeah. which you cable up, where does it actually go to? It goes on to this black wire and then comes back through. Where am I? Oh, my sorry. finger. Yeah. Coming through. This, this set here? Yeah. Yeah. So that goes down to this board. I'm pulling the end of it now. Oh, I hate to point this out, but CRT drive board, and then there's CPI, CPE, CPT. Yeah, but it's, it's, it's a scan, it's not a CRT drive. Yeah. Yeah. CRT. See, this is the high voltage, this will be a high voltage element to it, you see. Yeah. Okay, that's a high voltage oh, no, transformer. Isn't that one touch of this one? Just thinking about it, it looks like a... Yeah, yeah. TV transformer. Could you just show it to the camera? Do you have a clue what this does? Or? This, this, it's a scan board. Which one is it? We don't know. Does it look good? Inside? Yeah, it yeah, looks really nice. Oh, oh, it's a way of cleaning the, the sort of gold contacts. I have flux cleaner as well, if you... No, that was a bit fine. Yeah, I mean, it tends to be something more aggressive, is not much. Right, OK. He can go back in again, but Bernie. So these are basically the scan. This is the scan generator board. Yeah. Now and these chips are they? Are they anything oh, we can identify? Oh, I don't know what they are actually. What are they? Seven four one. Oh, seven four logic. Okay. Yeah. So they're replaceable. At least we can get. Oh yeah, get new ones they're all socketed as well. So. Lovely. Seventy four series logic. Then. So that that's the basic scan generator. Yep. Uh, it might be that where the problem lies, but if not, let's have a look at the next one. This is to do with, this is a video board. S1 there. And photo normal rapid TV. I think these are preset brightness. Oops, oops, oops. Okay. Hey, this is Andrew White. I'm recording some of the progress I've made today on the scanning electron microscope. Since Dick and Bernie came and helped me and we turned the unit on for the first time in six years, uh, we'd established that some of the things I needed to do were to uh, look into the circulation pump and find a photomultiplier tube housing and replace some of the old pipes, uh, tubes, housing that uh, wasn't looking very good. Progress I made today. This was the old outlet from the vacuum pump. It's a, a thick bore, uh, sorry, thick walled rubber tube, um, but it ended pretty quickly, which meant that the oil vapor um, uh, mist was, was coming out into the room. I've replaced this uh, with brand new hose uh, that goes out to the window, so we can now pop that out of the window and not worry too much about giving ourselves uh, bad things. The other thing I've replaced is the hose. This is with garden hose, um, but it goes on perfectly for the back of this unit to create a circulating um, water chiller pump. Um, and there's an aquarium pump pushing the water around to cool the diffusion pump down. And it, we should now get a scan, I think. So, that same one that we had before? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. I think we've got to turn... But have we got our DVM, have we got our DVM hooked up? So we can Not yet. Put, no. We've only got the scope hooked. Do you want to do that? It's going to be 
all like yes. the common black wires. Yeah, I think they are. That's I think that's probably a sensible place I've to got, go in. They, I mean, they look like they are. Oh, well, they're not. Oh. Just try point to point. Try one of the columns to another. Oh, I've... There we go. Now try. Now try the case. There yes. You go. Okay. Sorry. Those are earth points. I switched it to diode. What did you want to do? So oh. put, put the black one oh. in the common. Yeah, and the other one into... Into the HV. There we go. Right. So, so we can see the meat, eh? And then this is your this is your hot one. So you put it onto a ground burning. Put that on the ground. No. I can, can I catch it right there? I want good that. work. Yeah. That's one. Have a look. Okay, that you one. Want a, you want a torch? Yes, thank you. And we want which board is it we're playing? That's J one. It's J one. And you're looking at A, B, and you're looking at pin one. Right. Ready to go. Ready to go. Oh. Oh, we've got a line. Definitely got a line. Yeah, got a half a line. Now turn the brightness right down. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. Scan mode, can we? Can't, why can't I turn it Line down? spot. So this first one. Yeah. Um, there's the spot so, pin one, sorry, oh, I'll press the button a bit, is 0.1 volts. Right. That doesn't make sense. Well, it does if the power is broken. Right. Um, what, what next point? Okay. That's scanning, isn't it? Yeah, operate. So we know that's coming on because some of the bits are coming on anyway. Yeah. It, it then feeds that transformer primary and it feeds that transformer primary. Yeah. But we're getting noise on the CRT. I know we're not getting noise anymore. Well, I think there is. It is there. Right, I think we could go to um, three now, please, on your on the knob up there. I right, say so we go through one to get to three. That that makes a lot of sense, actually. Yeah, so one is just ticking away to itself. And, well, we'll wait till it comes over into the green because it won't come on. The light won't come on until it's. Oh, of course, yeah. Yeah. So adjust the brightness control so it's a comfortable level. A little comfortable. <laughs> Not scanning. No, not yet. Oh. So it says go to a rapid one or rapid two. Rapid one. Let's go to rapid one. Carefully turn the emission control clockwise. Now we put. No, we would have said the emission meter. Oh. Well, that's interesting. Is that it detecting something? Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh. No, there's something very strange going on here. Oh, well, it gets brighter, so it's obviously receiving more electrons. Well, we, yes, and that's precisely right, it is. We've got maximum smoke on contrast, so, <laughs> so that means that it's probably fairly sensitive to light, I think, so. Ah. Any electrons that are going to come down there, we're going to see them. So that's the proof of that. No, it's not doing it's anything, I'm afraid. Not getting any... no, I, don't understand. I don't think that this is aligned, to be honest, though. Well, I think that... I think you should get some electrons. Well, we should have got some at some point. In... That looks to me like a, a, break, a physical breakdown somewhere inside the gun. Like a spark. Yeah, like an arc of some description. Well, maybe the anodes. Yeah, look at that. Actually, you get a white spot, by the way. The trouble is, I don't know whether there's, there's 
there's things going on with relays, you see. Oh, I see. So it might just be cross coupling or. So this, this is the crucial thing. Filament drive goes out on 2B and 4D and 3C. So there's a, there's a, there's a bifinal transformer there with 32 to 60. So, so it, it's, it, it's got a, a higher current output going out down, which will be AC, a switching, switching work square wave coming out down those two. So does that there's make sense? 2B and 3C there. Be. Those two big tower power transistors, common emitter yeah. and two connectors, they're, they're PMP MPNs, they are going off to, and that connector goes off down to three and four. It, this, is a, this is the output, right, two, and it goes to the end of that potentiometer, right? The ones we're interested in are those, those there. Those there, yeah. That that breeze. Power out and put the coax in. Yeah. Why are we putting the coax in? Because otherwise we've got a high voltage floating around the end of it, it will arc over. Yeah, okay. Okay, so that's our culprit. Yeah, now we've got to put him put the other one in. Because what we don't know is what what's a D110 or hyphen zero straight zero. There's lots of them. D110 zero. Okay. Yeah, uh, 36p from MRS. Oh, no, so because there's a bunch of them here. 36p. Goodness. Oh no, it's hang on. It's power transistor. No, that's yeah. No, that's not right. A D110 slash zero. So the nearest I can get is D1100. They're quite. These look like they're quite big. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Prices with. They mount on a heat sink, so they're going to carry some. Oh, are they the, um, okay. Hmm. We don't... Yeah, yeah, yeah it's just a... Just it's a, a your, Dick, it, I keep coming back to Dick, your memory. Yeah. Which is pretty good. And you're saying that... We, we very, we've already... Yeah, we verified that the voltage there was right. That's okay. We verified that it was getting to that. Right. We changed that, and we changed those two, because right. we've got... And that's those two transistors there. Um, that capacitor that blew up, which which I think was was this one. I think it was C8. Yes, that's it. We, we don't understand why that blew no, up. No, we don't. Like it's a bit a bit bizarre. Yeah, it is. But but then we we had assumed we might have fixed it. But clearly, even having changed all that. It's still this one. So he's what, now the, the uh, last cut, the last yeah. link in the chain. Yeah. Okay. It's precisely right as it is. Okay. There's nothing left. So just on there if you can. You're right. Yeah. So, so which one is it there? That's the next question. Okay. okay. If you tell me. Oh, the one, the one I, I would be most interested in, Bernie, would be TR three. Oh, sorry. TR3. TR1, 2, and 3, and it's TR3 of that, of that trio. Okay. Yeah. Um, and HFE classifications, it's in the. It's, a, it's an O, so it's 50 to 150. Well, well my, my gut feeling is it will, it will burst into life, but. You see, I don't know that there's anything. It's following the pattern of. Failure, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. those ones we replaced, and the output, which wasn't giving us anything, was it? Yeah. Was, was it in the end, or was it giving us? Hang on time? a minute. Hang on a minute. I've just spotted something. We've got the same transistors in the the record scan. Which we're not using, are we? We're not. We're going to cannibalize them. Well, it's it's in an individual unit. Here, look. Mm -hmm. And there's two of them, two SD one one O's. And and we know that works. We, we've seen it light up. We've seen it light up. That might well, it might be a solution for today. I mean, it would be a yeah, nice to have a nice preparation. But but that unit is an individual unit, and it doesn't require. It's sort of. Stand alone in the whole thing. Yeah. 
So we could try and recover it from that unit on the right. What do you think? His own right? Yeah. And how right. how easy? Well, that might be a question. <laughs> that might be a question. Um, where is he? What is he? He'll be that top unit. Paul, I'll tell you when to stop. Quite a bit more cable here. You go some more yet. Oh that's okay. You go some more yet. Just need to top this up. Yes, that, that's right, Bernie. There are only two connectors to that. One's JPC1 and JPC2. We've scavenged a Toshiba 2SD110. Uh, do you think they're just going to be safe like that? Just do you want to cover them in electrical tape? tape uh, a little bit of tape would be good, I think. Yeah, they'll, they'll, they'll both sit on that tape. And we've replaced it into the filament power supply. Is that correct? Yep. And that's just driving about five amps that'll be driving five amps down the filaments uh, at the top of the, the electron gun here right okay shall we leave that off for the leave that off. okay we're set yep power on yeah oh, ho 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 zero ho 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 going up Nothing. <laughs> oh. Don't Damn. Nothing. It's making a different noise though. That's just a fan. Right? No, no, Is you get a high pitched noise. Yeah. Did you? Oh, that's right. Yeah, good. That's it. That's it. So we're recording where 2.5 amps is. Brilliant. Brilliant. Yeah. So, it's distorted. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so they use. To me, that looks cut. pretty good, though. Look at that image. I mean, yeah, it's early to tell. I mean, we're, we don't know what mag we're at. Like that, that image looks really like something. If you see what I mean, I mean, it it is it it is an image. It's a real image of something. Mm -hmm. um, and for that to be happening, the electrons are hitting it. They are scintillating, indeed. and the whole chain scanning. is working. Everything's well, the working. The multiplier is working. I don't know what it is. It'll be some sample from my dad, you know, it will be geology or... It looks like an organic thing, right? I can't tell. You can get metal samples that look, that have features that look like that. Fair enough. But, because that piece there, I don't know... Look at that, it's that beautiful. But, um, can I get a close-up of the screen? Yeah, sure. Let me focus on that now. Um, at this point, align the gun and see if you Well, I don't know. That, uh, that was my next thing. I was wondering. Is that as fast as it goes? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's normal. That's normal. But that too slow for us to do the yeah. yeah. The rapid two is I'm going to be honest with you, normal looks I lovely just, on the... I mean, it doesn't oh. look like a bad image. No, no. Okay, we can't tell. Well, them, but... The moment is that we, we, we have two unknown things. Is the gun aligned? Is it saturated? It may be that now I'm having to say, look, you see, now I'm... That's just a tiny little touch. Well, there, there was a, something in the book. It said go up to 100 microns. Well, I'm, not, I'm only at 50 microns, so perhaps we go up to a little it's, bit more. Whoops. Ah, now, you, okay. And I'll now, go to now normal. We, now we know what's happening. It and will... switch to normal on the phosphor. Normal scan. Oh, wow, what's going on now? Uh, sorry, I'm just... Let's just make it on the way. There's a full-sized image setting you're using. Yeah. Oh, wow. So, yeah. we, we, that's low mag. What I've done is I've taken up, I'm up to 80 microns, which uh, is probably about where we need to be. But if I turn it down, you see, what, what we're doing, we're coming through... Through. Now, if I go up a little bit bright, I would think that I need to probably tweak these around a little bit. So yeah, no. it's offset slightly. Yeah, that yep. way. That's right. That's yep. That's, that's the right better. way. That's, that's better. Right. That's the right way. Yep. Turn them down a bit more. Down a little bit more. See. See, as the filament saturates. Yes. If if it's under saturation, the beam will be slightly off the axis and not coming from the point of the filament. And what Dick is doing is saturating the filament 
so that no further increase in current uh, produces think, no further little, beam. That's saturation. Side is. And the phosphor retains the image. Whereas nowadays, it's all it's stored, in digital. stored in digital mode. So, uh, yeah. Whereas, yeah, I'm but but just to, there you to can set, see the difference. Yeah, yeah. I'm so used to seeing these. Yeah, to set it up, <laughs> you need it. Whoa, what are you doing? Uh, there's another well, there's fast a, mode there. There's a dirty contact on the switch. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. So how are you moving around there? You're I'm moving, moving mechanical moving movement on the oh, okay. yeah. mechanical stage. Yeah, it could be biological of some sort. Could be. I'm sure it is. I'm sure it's a sample my dad has. Yeah, and then that, probably. That, that fine focus. Wow. Yeah. So. There's a little bit of vibration coming through. Yes, because it's probably yeah. things could be touching there. Yeah, yeah. Um, difficult to know. The stigmatism is a little bit strange. Because that, oh, it's an alignment. It's not the stigmatism. What am I fiddling around with? Oh, no, oh, it's okay. silly, silly crap. All right, all right. Let's just. Yeah. That's. Uh, oh, yeah, that makes high. sense. Yeah. That makes sense. Yep. Right, okay, now let's. It's over, you're going to walk manually or something. No, no. Sorry. It, it, it's, uh, and there's no numbers, is there any numbers? Well, um, oh, of course, I think there are. Be a work, oh, wait, there'll be a working distance yeah. factor there. Can we have a. a uh, lights. Anyway, I mean, I think the. The, the, the question in my own mind the, whether the, the, the gun is properly set up but yes. it, 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 and it would be nicer could one of you stand there why because uh, there's a reflection on the screen <laughs> yeah oh, that's a... look at that it's beautiful